All right, yo, here is another video that I've been wanting to make for a little bit because I hear this debate all the time. Roll it. Now, I'm not really a fan of comparing artists in terms of today's world to artists from back in the day because, one, it's going to be impossible to compare because they're obviously two completely different times. Here we have streaming, here we have YouTube, here we have digital sales, album sales. It's a whole nother, like social media, it's a whole nother level, it's a whole nother game than it was back in the 80s when Michael was popping off. Michael Jackson is clearly the king of pop, first and foremost. That's not even a question. He, he is the greatest pop star ever. The boy put out Thriller, it has like eight songs or nine songs and eight of the nine or seven of the eight are all number ones. Like that is by far one of the greatest and, and what's crazy crazy about it is that's not even his best album in my opinion in my opinion his best album is off the wall but anyway like i was saying it's almost impossible to compare like what were we, what were they selling back then records maybe eight tracks maybe maybe cassette tapes compared to now like instant access of, of of media and i think before bruno mars and the weekend the closest person that we could even say was close to touching michael was prop Maybe Justin Timberlake, like in terms of being an entire performer, in terms of in terms of holding the crowd, the numbers, sales, like Justin was probably the closest one to being Michael. But then the world finds out about Bruno Mars, and then the world finds out about The Weeknd. You, it's it's extremely hard to deny how close Bruno Mars and The Weeknd are to Michael. I am a very big fan of both of these artists. I, I'm, I would probably say to the fact that I'm a diehard fan of The Weeknd. Like I found The Weeknd when he was nobody. When you're seeing this. Video, video you probably I probably already made live like the House of Balloons album review talking about what it was like to be to be aware of of the weekend at that time when he was dropping the mixtapes like I would probably say that I'm diehard all the way back to Drake's blog post where the world was barely learning about him I wouldn't say I'm necessarily that diehard about Bruno Mars but even as a diehard EXO fan, even as a diehard Weekend fan, I would personally say that if anybody was going to be the second coming of Michael Jackson, it would be Bruno Mars. It comes down to two things, really. And the first thing, as you can expect, at least at least from what you would expect from just from listening, is the fact that his voice, there's never going to be another voice like The Weeknd. It is by far, even compared to Bruno Mars, it is by far the closest in terms of sounding like Michael Jackson. And really what it is, is it's the way that he can hit his higher notes and the way that he has vocal control and kind of can kind of like he can kind of like talk sing his way through certain portions like if you if you listen to call out my name when the second verse starts he's like it didn't mean to feel nothing baby but i lied like it kind of like he's not really on beat he kind of he's just talking really i almost cut a piece of myself for your life you know like it's not it's not exactly like hitting the notes it's just and that's something that michael did and then on top of that what really sells his voice as sounding similar to michael is the fact that the way Way that Abel uses his vibrato. It's, it's extremely similar, if not identical, actually, to the way Michael Jackson uses his vibrato. Like, listen to Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson, and then listen to Dirty Diana, which is which is Michael Jackson's song that the, that the Weeknd did on the Echoes of Silence mixtape. Like, whenever he's using vibrato, it sounds just like Michael. Obviously a much darker production, but it sounds like Michael. So if we are talking about vocally, like if we didn't see these two artists, if it was just, we just heard their voice, vocally, The Weeknd takes it. Just overall, his voice sounds more similar in, ton in tonality to Michael's. What makes Abel's music so profound and so jarring to us is how dark it sounds. And that is something that kind of like takes away from the fact he sounds like Michael Jackson. It's what makes him The Weeknd, is the, is the darkness, it's the grittiness, it's, the, it's almost like the eerie, scary nature of some of his instrumentals, extremely aggressive, openly talking about drug use and, and being misogynistic and, you know, using women, party life that is obviously going to be something that is very weakened he kind of pioneered that in the mainstream but that sound is the reason why people are, are going to say that he's not the next Michael Jackson because people are going to say Michael didn't talk about those things. No one talked about those things. And I'm not saying that's taken away from him as an artist whatsoever. That's obviously that's actually propelling him as an artist in my in my opinion. But if we're talking about just straight sounding or trying to be the next Michael, if we're comparing it to Michael, that's obviously going to be something that brings it down slightly. So that brings us over to Bruno and Bruno Mars. The main reason why I personally see him as being between the two, being the closest next to Michael is going to be because he is an overall like better performer. Obviously, The Weeknd has stage presence. His whole production of his of his tour is crazy. His whole production of the of the 
I was going to say World Series of the Super Bowl. He produced it all on his own, directed it all on his own. Amazing. Like, he's an amazing performer. But when it comes to performing like Michael, Bruno Mars definitely has it. And the main reason is going to be because Bruno can dance his fucking ass off. That's really all that it comes down to. Not to mention Bruno's music is has, is a little bit brighter. It's more, it, it's it's not even a little bit. It's astronomically brighter than The Weeknd's music. It sounds more like that that funk soul type of music, funk soul pop. I don't even know how what you would consider it as, but it sounds more like Michael Jackson's style of music. And on top of that, obviously Bruno is a much better dancer, like just naturally gifted performer when it comes to dancing and holding stage presence with dancing and vocals. So that's really it. I mean, it's a pretty straight forward argument in my opinion i think bruno is the closest i think i think the weekend is closer vocally but overall bruno is closer like as a person as an as an entertainment persona so it's like they both took michael jackson's career and took the parts that they liked about it and then they both found their own success bruno mars is overall like michael jackson in terms of performance but the weekend took michael's voice emulated it to a certain extent until he found his own voice and then put it over this dark production with these very dark lyrics and that is what propelled him to success and that's really the entire argument that i gotta make i just want to make it clear that i'm not saying that bruno is a better artist than than, than the weekend and i'm not saying the weekend is a better artist than bruno they are both they are both upper echelon if you if you if you ask me to name my top five artists right now the weekend and bruno mars would probably be one and two and i don't even honestly know which one would be one it might be the weekend only because he's put out albums more frequently than Bruno has. Bruno kind of goes on hiatus after an album. That would really be the only reason why. If they were both putting out music constantly, I don't think that I could give you a one or two. That's just that's just the re the reality of the star power that these two guys have. In conclusion, I personally think Bruno is closer to being the next Michael Jackson, whereas The Weeknd is closer vocally to being Michael Jackson, and he created his own sound behind those vocals, and that's what made him the superstar that we know today. So, if anybody else agrees, let me know. If you disagree, if you think The Weeknd is closer than than Bruno, I definitely want to hear your side of the argument because it's 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 like solidified in my mind. So, I want to hear a different side of the argument as to to why you think The weekend is is closer to Michael Jackson than Bruno is. But that's really all that I got. I appreciate everybody's time. If you're liking these videos, these like commentary pieces and these opinion-based pieces, then let me know. Leave it in the comments if you want to hear a different type of like, you know, opinion-based video because I'm down to do these. I, I like doing these because it's, it kind of lets you into my mentality about the way that I think about music and artists and those kind of things. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, like I always say, I, please consider liking and leaving a comment. It helps the algorithm. Consider hitting the, uh, hitting the Patreon or consider hitting Twitch if you want to donate to the channels and, and make a difference. I do this full time on YouTube because of those two forms of income. Everybody on Patreon is going to see this video way before it actually comes out a couple of weeks in advance. So if you definitely want to get early access things, consider joining on Patreon. But hit up all the socials. All these links are in the description below. That brings us to the very end. I appreciate everybody's time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.